Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to edit category. So let's see how can we edit the category. So first of all, uh, let's create a new live wire component for edit the category. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new live wire component, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire space directory name which is admin forward slash component name uh, let's say component name is admin edit category component all right and now press enter component created now switch to the project and uh, let's create the route for the admin edit category component so just open the web.php file so go inside route directory then open web.php and inside this file you can see here this is the admin uh, route group so after this route let's add here a new route so write here route get and add the uri admin forward slash category uh, slash edit and here uh, let's pass one uh, parameter it is category underscore slug all right and now add here the uh, component class name so let's write here admin edit category component column colon class all right and also give the route so write here name and uh, let's say name is admin dot edit category all right and now save this file and now open admin edit category component class file so let's go inside app directory then http live wire admin and from here just open admin edit category component.php file inside this file uh, first of all let's add uh, the layout so inside this render method after this add here the arrow shine then layout and add here the layout name so first add the layout directory which is layouts dot layout name which is base okay now save this file now open the admin add category component view file all right so just go inside the resources directory views resources views live wire admin and from here just open admin add category component or player page file all right and now select all the text from here and copy and now open the admin edit category component dot play dot php file and here just to select all the text and uh, remove and paste here all right and now change here the title edit category and inside the submit button uh, it's right here update okay now save this file and now open the admin edit category component class file this one and uh, here let's create uh, some property inside this class so right here public dollar first category is category underscore slug all right another category uh, another property which is at underscore id category underscore id right and public dollar name and last one dollar slug all right now add the mount lifecycle hook method so for that just type here public function and function name which is mount and inside this mount method uh, just pass one parameter one argument which is this one category underscore slug 
all right dollar category underscore flag now inside the mount method uh, first of all right here dollar this arrow category slug this property is equal to dollar category underscore slug all right and now fetch the category according to the slug so right here category is equal to model name category colon colon where slug is equal to this one all right dollar slug then just call here the first record first okay now assign the id to the this category underscore id property so right here dollar this arrow category underscore id is equal to dollar category arrow id dollar this arrow name is equal to dollar category arrow name and also assign the slug dollar category arrow slug all right and now uh, create the function for the generate slug so just copy this function name this one generate slug all right and inside this admin edit category component class file uh, let's create another function public function and function name generate slug all right and inside this simply write here dollar this arrow slug is equal to str colon colon let's call here the slug method and inside this pass here the category name dollar this arrow name all right and also import here uh, str so right here use illuminate support slash str all right and now create the function for the update category so after this method just write here public function and function name let's say function name is update category all right and here uh, let's fetch the category by the id so right here dollar category model in category find and uh, dollar this arrow at underscore id category underscore id this one let's copy and paste here all right and now call here the category underscore name is equal to dollar this arrow name for the slug category arrow slug is equal to dollar this arrow slug okay and now call the same method category and uh, arrow save all right and also uh, put a message in that the session so right here session and call the class method add a key message and the third here the message category has been updated successfully all right and uh, now it's done okay just save this file and now just call this function on form submit so inside this component view file 
on the submit method submit action form submit submit action uh, just call this function update category okay now save this file and now open the admin category component view file uh, this one admin category component dot php file and inside the table uh, let's add here the link for the edit category so just write here a anchor tag href is equal to double curly bracket route and add here the route name which is this one admin dot edit category so just copy this and paste here and also pass one parameter which is this one category slug and here just write arrow dollar category arrow slug all right and also add here the class btn uh, fa fa dash edit and increase the uh, fa size so just write here fa 2x all right and now Mm, close this anchor tag and inside this anchor tag just add here a text edit okay here is the mistake uh, just remove this class all right and here just add i i tag okay and then paste the class all right and now close the anchor tag okay now it's done so let's check this so first of all run the application so switch to the command prompt and uh, type for the command for running the application php artisan serve and open center now switch to the browser and refresh the page and now you can see here the edit link all right Now let's edit this category. I'm just going to edit this new category. So just click on this link. And here you can see the edit category form. And you can see here the category name and category slug. Alright. Now just uh, change here the category name. Alright here updated. And you can see here the slug automatically, uh, automatically generated. Alright. And now just click on update. You can see here the message category has been updated successfully. All right. Now just click on all category. And if I check the category, you can see here the category has been updated. All right. So this way you can update the product category. So that's all about edit category so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching